In today's Microsoft Excel tutorials video, we are going to see the three kinds of cell referencing. Now what is cell referencing? So a simple definition of cell referencing is that when you want to just apply a kind of a formula to the cells, then simply you got to provide the address of the cells. Now when you are providing the address of the cells, what you are doing is actually referencing to those cells and that is known as cell referencing in Microsoft Excel. So as the cell referencing is concerned, there are three types of cell referencing in Microsoft Excel and these three are relative referencing, absolute referencing and mixed referencing. Now we are going to uh, study about all these three referencing and we are also going to see that how can we actually use them in the different kinds of data that is available to us and how can they be used to generate the results that we need. So first of all we would be looking at relative referencing. This is the simplest form of referencing as the cells are concerned and this ref uh, relative referencing is the most widely used as well. Here we have a table which consists of three columns. These are number of units, price per unit and the total. Now if we take a look at number of units and price per unit then we know that the total would be a simple multiplication of the data that is present in the number of units and the data that is present in the column price per unit. So simply for the first record the contents would be $60. And uh, Similarly, all these contents would be just a multiplication of both of these records. So for that, what we are going to do is just first select a cell and here we are going to provide it with a formula, which is nothing but a simple multiplication formula. For this, what we are going to do is simply type an equal sign. Then we are going to select our first record, that is the number of units. Then type in the asterisk symbol and then provide it with the second records that is the price per unit and then as soon as we hit enter it will just calculate the multiplication of both of them and the product would be shown in this cell. This is exactly what we needed. Now what we're going to do is just drag it to all these columns so that Uh, this contents were visible. Now the reason why we were getting uh, the pound symbols before was that this uh, cell uh, was not particularly uh, adjusted to accommodate this kind of a number. So we just double clicked over here so that it can now accommodate three numbers and that's why uh, we are now being visible with the correct data. So that is relative referencing. Now we come to absolute referencing. So first of all what we are going to do is just change its type from currency to a number. Uh, so here what we are having is a data in which we are given different subjects like maths, science, English, Hindi and computer. And along with them we have the marks like uh, how much marks the student has got in that particular subject. Now if you want to calculate the percentage of that particular subject then uh, what we are going to do is simply uh, just divide the marks by 100 and that is the total number of marks that we have got. So one approach could be uh, just providing it with a formula like equals the contents of this cell divided by 100 and that would do the thing. Yeah, we are going to select a percentage type for it. So it's 98%. Now what we are going to do that instead of this approach, suppose we are giving that data 100 is present in a cell like this. So in that case what will we do? Uh, we need to just divide the contents of cells like this. Suppose this uh, data is present in this particular cell and we can just delete it. Alright. So what will we do is we type equals we just select the contents of this cell, just put a slash sign and then the, select the contents of this particular cell that is i5 and press enter. So we get 98% which is the correct answer. Now we can just drag it down. 
like this. So what do we got? First of all, this is an error over here. Next, we have got 81.63%, which is wrong, as the answer must be 80%. Then we have got 56.58%, which is again wrong. So all these things are wrong and one error, which should not be here. Now, if we just uh, click on this to see its formula, then in the formula bar, you can see that this is the formula that we are getting, that is I8 divided by I6 which is not we required what we required that the contents of this first thing should change that is uh, it should change from i7 to i8 i9 i10 and so on but the second cell contents or its address should remain the same and which is i5 so this is what absolute referencing does it just stops the contents or pauses the contents of the one cell from changing now here what we want that in all the cases only the value i5 should be there. So for that what we are going to do is just go back to our first um, cell. Just double click on it so that we get the formula over here. And bring your cursor towards the rightmost side such that um, it is at the end of the text that you have written. And then press the F4 key. Now when you press this F4 key, what will happen, you will notice that two dollar signs have been added, one before the letter I and one before the number 5. And that is how you do absolute referencing, that means you have locked the contents of the cell I5. Now if we just drag this formula again, then you can see that the result that we are getting now is correct, 76% for 76 marks. 80% for 80 marks, 43% for 43 marks and so on. Now the third kind of the referencing that is the least used and is the most complex form of referencing is known as mixed referencing. As the name suggests, mixed referencing is a combination of relative referencing as well as absolute referencing. So uh, what we are going to do here is we have a table in front of us and this table has some uh, data like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in the columns and in the rows it has 16, 17, 18 and 19. So what it means? It means that in this table what do we need is the data like 16 into 1 which is the result 16 in the first cell over here and in the last cell we want the data like 19 into 5. So this is the kind of the data that we need. Now what will we do is we simply provide it with a formula. So for the formula we put an equal sign. Uh, we provide it with the contents of this cell. Then we put an asterisk and then we provide it with the contents of this cell. Then we press enter and again it's a currency. So what we are going to do is just select all these contents and change its type to a number. Alright now this is 16 that's what we have got and if we just drag these contents over here so this is what we have got. If we can just, uh, okay. So this is what we have got. So if we just click on its formula, then it is M7 multiplied by N6. But if we click at the contents of the second cell, it is M8 into N7. And that is this. So that's what it is happening. It is incrementing the value over here and as well as over here. That's why we have got the wrong result. So in this case what do we need to do is for this particular column that is for the column N we want all the contents to be multiplied with the number 1. For the column O we want all these rows to be multiplied with the values of 2 and similarly for P, Q and R as well. So for this what we are going to do is just press an equal sign then type in the letter M that is nothing but uh, the column number for our contents which we want fixed. So what we are going to do is just press equals press a dollar sign then type in the letter M. Uh, we want uh, the number of row as 7 then put it an asterisk. Now what we want is that it should be uh, set at the value 6 but this n should not be fixed. So we just put an n then again type a dollar and then type in. 
like this all right now if we just drag it to the sides then you can see 16 to the 32 16 threes are 48 16 four is 64 and 16 fives are 80 similarly if we just drag it over here then it's 17 to the 34 17 threes are 51 17 four is 68 and 17 fives are 85 similarly over here if we just uh, drag it for the tables of 18 and similarly if we just drag it for the tables of 19 like this so that's what we have got now this is a case of mixed referencing where if we just go to the formula bar then first of all we have just uh, stopped or paused this m that is the column but we have allowed these rows to be changed then in the second case what we have done is just kept a constant uh, number of this row 6 and have allowed the columns to be changed. So that is all in today's Microsoft Excel tutorials video.